Hey guys, so I decided since I was at it, I will show you guys um, my oils that I use, my different oils that I have to use for my hair. Um, there, there are quite a few. I, I don't have any particular um, order of using them. I don't have um, any particular preference, I should say. Um, some of them I use for sealing, some of them I use for add-ins in my deep conditioner, but um, for the most part, I, I, it just depends on what I feel like using on a certain day. I do use a lot of products uh, for my hair. Uh, I, I, I know that a, a lot of people like to have a simple uh, regimen where they use just, you know, uh, a few staple items and then that's it they just stick to that um, I don't consider myself a product junkie uh, I, I don't use a lot of products because I like to just buy 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 products I use a lot of products on my hair interchangeably because I feel as though our hair can benefit from a lot of different things that a lot of different products can offer so um, and I also feel as though if, if you use one product for a long time after a while your hair kind of gets accustomed to it and then it doesn't react the same way um, it, it, you know it, it, it's like anything that, that you use sometimes when you use painkillers like let's say Advil and you drink Advil all the time when you know when you have a really bad headache and you take Advil it might not work because your body kind of becomes immune to it because it's just sort of a natural state I guess so I feel the same way with hair products um, I, I've noticed that when I use a certain deep conditioner for a very long time my hair just sort of becomes accustomed to it and then it doesn't react the same way as it did in the beginning when it kind of like you know needed it or you know so that that's the reason why I like to use a lot of different products interchangeably I don't um, particularly buy a new product until I've gone through the other one so that is why I don't consider myself a product junkie because I don't just mass buy you know what I mean if that's that makes sense but you know I just don't go out on a buying bin show I this is all I have no I buy some product I use it and then I move on to try something else if it doesn't work out I move on to try something else and then you know I might go back to one that really did work for me and then I go back use it for a while and then I let it go for a while you know what I mean but anyways let's go back to the um, subject of the video and I'll show you guys all my um, my oils uh, first of all I will start with the amla oil and this is an Indian oil that I get from my Indians uh, from my local Indian store which is not local at all I have to drive an hour to get to this Indian store but whenever I'm down in um, my hometown of New Jersey, I uh, there's a lot of Indian stores there, so I always stock up and and buy whatever I can find there. I actually use a lot of Indian products, so I'll do a video and show you guys a lot of things that I use for my hair. Um, uh, but for now, I'll just show you my oils. The Amla oil. Um, it's it's really good. I use this in my deep conditioner. I don't use it as a sealant because it has a um, a particular smell that uh, it's not a bad smell, but it's not a smell that I am fond of particularly. So um, I try to just limit it it to my deep conditioners when I'm deep conditioning or like a hot oil treatment or something like that but I really like this oil um, then this is another Indian oil it's called Mahabringrash oil um, and this one I've uh, heard a lot of good things about and I researched it online 
and it's uh, supposed to be used for um, hair loss and it just stops graying and falling of hair cures sleeplessness because it's, it's an Ayurvedic um, medicine from India so um, it's supposed to stop graying and falling of hair cures sleep, sleeplessness cures dandruff checks hair loss cures palm or soul burning sensation so you're supposed to massage the oil on head for 10 to 15 minutes before going to bed and it's supposed to help you sleep now this oil does not smell very well um, doesn't smell very good at all so I don't use it as a daily thing I usually do um, hot oil treatments with these and I also add it on to my deep conditioners and this is a uh, sweet almond oil okay and this is express sweet almond oil okay and it is a hundred percent almond oil and um, it smells really good so I don't know if it has any type of scent added to it but it smells really good like almond so um, I add these to my uh, deep conditioners and I also use this as a sealant because it smells really nice okay and this is my rosemary oil and I get these little bottles um, in uh, CBS uh, a local CVS and they have a lot of um, uh, Spanish products and I find these little bottles there uh, the bottle is in Spanish so it, uh, it is rosemary oil this does contain other things like fragrances and other ingredients in it but I haven't had any problem with it so I just use it I, I don't use it as a sealant I use it as a add into my deep conditioner or hot oil treatments okay and this is peppermint oil and I use this in my deep conditioners and also in a spritz that I um, use for my hair which I'll show you in another video and tell you what I put into it okay and this is my coconut oil vatica oil so it's a a no I'm sorry is this the vatica oil nope this is my just my 100% virgin co coconut oil okay and it is in its li liquid state right now because um, it's kind of warm here but it does become solid once it cools now this is my Vatica coconut oil and this is the um, Indian uh, version I guess of coconut oil which has henna, amla, and lemon added into it and it does have a very different smell than the regular coconut oil this has like more of a co coconutty scent and it does become solid when it cools so um, I'm sure that it is 100% coconut oil and last but not least this is my castor oil um, it's running low I have to go buy um, another bottle especially because I'm going to be doing my castor oil challenge which I posted a video um, prior to this one and I, where I spoke about it so um, you know this will be good to start off but um, I would definitely be doing making a trip down to my natural health store and buying a big bottle for my challenge so those are my oils I do not use them all together like I said it just depends on what I'm in the mood for using or what I think I'm needing um, some of them are more moisturizing than others some of them are more for strength purposes than others so um, depending on what I need on that week that's what I will add on to my deep conditioner or my hot oil treatments so hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more to come thanks for watching bye bye